Is the DJI Air 3 the best DJI drone? No, I it's think the DJI Mini 4 Pro. This is the perfect small drone. I'm sorry to interrupt you again, mate, but you keep getting it wrong. This is the best small drone. You know what this means, right? <laughs> In this episode of Matt vs. Matt, we pit the DJI Mini 4 Pro against the DJI Air 3. Two drones released in the last year with amazing specs and features. And where better to do it than the epic landscapes of New Hampshire. But first things first, let's cover some of the highlights of both of these drones so you know what we're working with. The last time we compared drones, Matt had the Inspire 3 and I had the Mini 3 Pro. And with the upgrades on the Mini Pro 4, I'm feeling even more confident than I was last time. The Mini 4 Pro is capable of shooting up to 4K 100 frames per second video and 48 megapixel raw stills, thanks to its 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor. It has omnidirectional obstacle avoidance and it's the first of the Mini series to have sideways obstacle avoidance. It's regulation friendly thanks to its 8.8 .8 ounce weight with a flight time of up to 45 minutes. And the thing we love most about the mini series is it has true vertical shooting. It also has updated smart features like Focus Track 360, and it also has your fantastic automatic shooting modes, and with a maximum wind resistance of 23.9 miles an hour, it can handle most conditions. Matt's definitely underestimating the DJI Air 3, and coming off a win on the Inspire 3 in one of our other drone videos, well, I'm ready to take another W. The Air 3 has two cameras, a wide angle and a 3X telephoto zoom. It can shoot video at 4K 100 FPS and 4K 60 FPS in HDR, or 2.7K vertical video. It's got two 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensors and up to 48 megapixel raw stills. It shoots 10-bit D-Log M and 10-bit HLG color modes to take full advantage of its dynamic range and versatility in post-processing, omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, a bunch of pre-programmed flight modes, and a maximum wind resistance of 26.8 miles per hour. So not only does it shoot very high quality video, but it also is stable in the air. For this test, we're gonna shoot vertical video, and I think the Mini 4 Pro has the edge here as we can twist that camera 90 degrees and take full advantage of our full sensor. But what do you think? Well, I have 2.7K vertical video, so I think that's plenty for social media, but I have 4K, so we'll see. But anyway, please enjoy this following vertical test footage and let me know in the comments whose vertical footage was best. Good mind. All right, fine. You know what? It's just better. I'll give it to you. Yeah. If yep. you could turn the camera, that seems like a better solution. Yes. Fine. Okay. But, <sighs> yep, fine. Yep. All right, for this next section, we're gonna test the speed of these two drones. Speed is important because getting from place A to Place B in a timely manner and maximizing your battery life with these drones is so important. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win this one. What do you think? Um, I'm not feeling too confident, but maybe the Mini 4 is gonna pull it out the bag. I mean, it is smaller, so maybe it's light through the air. Who knows? That's, a, that's an interesting, uh, yeah, it's an interesting it idea of yours. Um, but we're both this. in sport mode, so are you gonna count us down? Yeah. All right. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. P.S. We're at a very safe distance away from each other. Yeah. I'm I'm not going to lie. I'm very impressed by the Mini 4 here. Hitting almost 50 miles per hour. Ah, 35. 45.3, 45.7, 45.9. 35.5. Oh. All right. I'm going to concede there. Another win for the Air 3, baby. Let's I go. I think you won that one. For the next test, we're going to test the maneuverability of both these drones. All right, so we've got a nice little straight line through these gaps now. I'm just going to go through nice and gentle. There's a twig right in front of me there, but the obstacle avoidance is doing a great job. We'll bring him back in. And here he is. Mini 4 Pro 
getting through the trees nice and easy. All right, what Matt does not understand is that I got mad drone operating skills, so a little maneuverability test like this is really no problem. The Mini 4 Pro is slightly smaller than the Air 3, but I'm probably gonna handle this like a piece of cake, so let's see what we got here. He wasn't kidding about all the twigs, that's for sure. Sensors are just blaring right now. I have a little bit of past trauma because I have hit twigs twice in the past. You fly every day, it's bound to happen, you know? Good job on uh, getting through that, mate. Dude, but, can you get out of here? No, 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 I'm saying it's really impressive. There's a ton of twigs there, but I will say, I think I had you beat on that because I did it a lot quicker, like minutes quicker. I'll give you that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that so one. So much quicker than you. This next section is for test footage, and I know I'm gonna win this because I have that second camera. So for this section, we'll show you a bunch of shots that we've got here in New Hampshire. Well, that was a good run, dude. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a tie, but these are two very capable drones with a ton of middle ground. Like they both have OcuSync 4, up to 12.4 miles of range, similar sensors, and they both shoot 4K 100 FPS and 48 megapixel stills. But I will say, if you're someone that takes a lot of vertical content and you're looking for a regulation friendly weight kind of drone, then the Mini 4 Pro is definitely for you. Absolutely, and if you're someone that needs those two cameras, that second one for that 3X telephoto, and maybe you want a faster and slightly more wind-resistant drone, then the DJI Air 3 is perfect for you. Either way, the Mini 4 Pro and the Air 3 are very capable drones. Even for their sizes, they deliver mind-boggling results that a few years ago wouldn't be possible for filmmakers. Absolutely, but let us know in the comments what drones or cameras we should compare next. We would love to hear from you. And hey, maybe check out some of our other Matt vs. Matt videos. But for now, my name is Matt. And my name is Matt. I'll see you guys next time. See you next time.